Hey, thanks for joining us on Business Basics. I'm here with Angie Nilsson. My name's Nathan Johnson. One of the things that I wanted to talk about with using Business Base is a big thing with employee retention. Since the COVID pandemic's happened, almost all employers now are running into a struggle of um, acquiring talent, retaining employees. There's a lot more opportunities for skilled individuals or people that have moved their way up or have a specific set of skill sets that are very business positive. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've definitely run into is that beyond culture, which of course, absolutely critical to a business, mm -hmm. is that people that come into companies that are high talent, high drive, they want to be engaged, they want to know what's going on, and they want to be aligned with everything. They want to be having the greatest impact. And so one of the things that Business Base has provided was the ability to engage those people of higher caliber or drive mm -hmm. in a more constructive manner to allow them to understand better what's going on so their impactful driven decisions can definitely have a much more uh, impacted weight and they can also themselves gauge and measure and make better decisions and also decide how they feel they're doing with the company. Yeah, absolutely. Gone are the days where, um, you know, the people in the stuffy suits hide behind a door and <laughs> plan what's going on, but don't actually tell anyone. People don't put up with that anymore. Everybody wants that transparency. They want to know why are they showing up every day? What is the purpose of this company? They want to see their impact. They want to make sure that their goals and what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is all feeding towards the main purpose of the company. And if they disagree with that purpose, they don't want to be there because they want what they do on a day-to-day -day basis to have meaning. So I love the transparency. I find that those who are drivers and are really, really wanting to push, they want to be a part of that whole big picture. For sure. And also with the clarity that we create as we mm -hmm. operate this stuff, it gives us more time to focus on what is really important. In a company right now, culture is becoming king. People are given so many options. Where would you want to pick? Do you want to go somewhere where the culture is still not moving or is it maybe mm -hmm. a bit stale? Or do you want to go to a company where they're taking the time to say, hey, when you come here, we're going to engage you on all facets of your needs and also challenge you to help move the company. Every one that I know that's leading a company right now, those are the people they rely on and I think if you can do anything to empower them or even free up your own time to be a better mentor a better leader to be right there with them as a teammate will drive that impact to make sure that you're helping retain them and also provide them with those opportunities and that chance to move forward and gain mm -hmm, absolutely what I have found is with that transparency of what the actual company is doing, then the people within the company, they push personally. They're sitting at home reading different books. They're taking different courses. So they're pushing regardless if when they first came in, they thought that something was important. Once they see the big picture, it really opens their eyes and they're just wanting to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I found to be really handy is that when you start to open up and create clarity and transparency is you get to dive a little deeper into everyone's mind. Mm -hmm. One thing that I think a lot of business leaders miss is that the people they're surrounded by have a lot of really good ideas, but they don't know how to convey them or they're concerned that their idea isn't really matched up with the company. Mm -hmm. One of the things about the clarity and transparency is that it allows people to see what the company's looking at so that they can tailor their ideas or enable them to add contribution and step up to the plate mm -hmm. and therefore giving them better chances to advance and do better and move themselves in their career by saying like, hey, you know, I see this is your objective. I have this idea and this is how it fits with your objective, mm -hmm. which removes a lot of the legwork for any management or departmental leaders to have to figure out and translate ideas between pieces when the people come with the information ready to say, hey, here's my idea ready to execute. 100%. Right. Yeah. And what I found over the last while is I no longer just listen to people who come to my office and say, I have a problem. So we've always pushed them. What are, how can this be done better? What are the top three ways that we could change this? And specifically, what is the top way that you would love to change this? And so we often just say, take that first step, like actually try it out, then come. You don't, you're not stuck doing anything a certain way anymore. Gone are those days of just you do it because we told you to do that right you go you make it better you make it different you know what the end goal is so have fun with it 
No, absolutely. And I think for everyone, having that higher level team engagement is just better for everyone in the whole organization. Mm -hmm.